All right, we've been waiting for this connection and it's time to talk about that five-year deal between the Nigerian Premier Football League and a television broadcast. We've got the MPFL Johnny is uh, poised to be shaped positively by this new broadcasting engagement. It is anticipated to have a significant impact on the league, potentially attracting a longer viewership, increased sponsorship opportunities and a boost in the popularity of Nigerian football. What was your first reaction at hearing about um, the five-year deal by the NFF and um, the te television broadcast deal? Uh, it was a big relief, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, hearing that news. Uh, of, course, of course, if that, that, that had been in the news previously, uh, there was a breakdown in communication between the league body and, of course, the broadcast uh, outfit in terms of agreement because, as at then, um, the league body had the streaming partnership uh, mm. that was currently ongoing. So, but for a market like Nigeria, you need high buzz on TV. People are still much on TV. There, yes, we have a, a good number of uh, mobile phone penetration, but mm -hmm. penetration of broadband internet is not that high uh, for Nigerians to fully set to uh, for just streaming alone. Uh, you needed to put it. Um, we're still a bit traditional when it comes to our consumption of uh, football, when it comes to Nigerian football, exactly. Uh, they watch uh, international football on cable TV. So having start time comes in was. A sign of a, uh, I hit the side of relief, a sign of relief, uh, knowing that finally Nigerians can get to watch their games, uh, their home very league game on TV, cable TV. It, it was a respite uh, that people had expected love because uh, the streaming platform was not really performing as much as people wanted. Okay, no matter how relieving this exciting news is, the issue of sustainability comes to play when you th think of the political landscape of running football in Nigeria. It will be far-fetched to say that deals come and go with their initiators in Nigeria. Uh, and it's on how sustainable is this deal? Can the league management company, the Nigerian Football Federation, keep up with this deal? I, I think they can keep up with this deal. Uh, mm -hmm. The first fact is this. Um, the Football Federation is fully involved. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's fully involved in this deal. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it gives us some level of continuity for the four-year duration that the NFF uh, will be on board. Uh, this current NFF executive will be on board. Uh, so it tells you that uh, they have that longevity, even if they decide to switch. Unlike other deals before now, that was strictly signed between the league body and, of course, the uh, broadcasters. This particular deal has the um, uh, imprint of the Nigerian Football Federation from sources. So that tells you that they uh, they have a hand in it and they can ensure the continuity of such deal, even if they change the league board. Now, uh, we've gone back a, a decade back in terms of uh, administration of the league, if you ask me, because uh, the NFL has direct control mm -hmm. to appoint and, of course, to choose whoever will be on the league board. And that plays into the advantage of having a, uh, uh, this kind of sponsorship. So I understand the fact that there's a possibility of polit uh, policy somersault mm -hmm. uh, in terms of change of hands in administration and all of that. But one of the key factors going to this is this deal is signed with the imprint of the Nigerian Football Federation, which will guarantee at least that longevity for four years duration of this board. Okay. We'll be waiting to see how this can be sustainable. Time that our friend, we would have gone on with questions that we've got concerning this um, five-year deal. But we have to just call it a wrap on this conversation right now. Thank you so much, Enito Obadino, for joining us on the show. Thank you for having me, Kenya.